Welcome back, guys. Yes, Colonial Charter 1.4 is out. Curse of the Golden Llama. I cannot wait to dive in and play this. There is so much incredible stuff in here. Right, you know what? Let's uh, let's go through the options because there's a bunch of new options just on starting a new game. Uh, we've got uh, a completely new terrain. We've got desert. I'm actually, for the first one, I'm going to play on Verdant Plains. Uh, just because I want to try out uh, some specific things, but I'm, I'm sure we're going to do a desert one as well because the desert uh, biome is really, really cool. I'm going to play on a large map. Climate. Now, I'm, I'm waiting to hear back from one of the developers about whether they uh, implemented uh, climate change affecting the growing rate on various different crops. Uh, and as soon as I find out, I'll let you know. I'm, I'm, I'm Literally, I'm waiting for an email back from him. We're going to go with Mediterranean because um, if, if that's the case, I want to grow lots of lemons and limes and all that kind of stuff. Should be very cool. Uh, and the other thing, starting conditions. Look at all the new starting conditions. Uh, I mean, as well as the old stuff like Adam and Eve and all that kind of stuff. You've got these new ones like El Dorado. Right, well, let's have a, like, doesn't tell you anything about El Dorado, but if you go down to Curse of the, uh, Curse of the Golden Llama down here... The Curse of the Golden Llama is the closest thing to mystery in the world of Banished. What is the Golden Llama? What mysteries does it hold? Dare you explore its murky interior? This is a game that starts according to regular hard settings, but includes the option to adventure at, for the chance of treasure. Oh, and you'll see that. You'll see that. And it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Should we jump straight in? Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's hit the pause button for a minute because I want to show you around. Now, this um, this particular little adventure is going to centre around. Uh, a, a, a light. Let me get the this stuff up first because otherwise I won't be able to see. These maps are too big. Uh, let's get that up. Let's get uh, the event log up, and here we go. Now. Uh, I've picked this particular map seed, I love this map seed, because I wanted the, the, the main river to flow through all of the lakes, okay, so that we could do like a whole ton of quayside stuff, because there's so much quayside stuff to put in. So the river comes in uh, at the top here, comes down here, and then we've got like, it's actually like two merged into one. So you've got this huge lake, and this is Lake Mini PP. I'm sure you've heard of Lake Titicaca and all those kinds of... This is Lake Mini PP. And, um, yeah, it's huge, as you can see. And it's kind of perfect. And we'll, we'll, and we'll, we'll probably trim up... Like, we'll flatten the terrain to create nice square edges and we'll put all quayside buildings in. Or, like, oh, I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm going to do massive docks and thing. And, oh, it's going to be awesome. And uh, there's a whole story to this, of course, of course, with me doing Banish, there's a whole story to this. This, this is all one family, right? And it's the bloke from the southwest. Yes, I've moved. Yes, the, uh, the bloke from the southwest, there was a horrendous incident over the communion wine at the local church. And the bloke from the southwest had to escape with his family. He fell foul of the Knights who say knee and um, he emigrated to South America. And uh, yes, he's come to the land of the llama. And look, there's the, there's the golden llama. There is the golden llama. Um, yeah, he's um, um, escaped the Knights of and He's come to the uh, to South America, to uh, to Lake Mini PP, with his family, in search of uh, of gold. He didn't know that when he got here. But like when they got here, they found out about the the, the legend of the golden llama, and and now they've turned from like a normal family into this bunch of completely crazed with a lust an insatiable lust for gold family and it's going to lead to all kinds of problems trust me um what i want to do fairly quickly and we've got look look this is the reason i wanted to do verdant plains um because we've got these massive buildable areas and we're going to do like oh we're going to do like a massive thing there's going to be there's going to be two towns there's going to be um, there's going to be a town oh, kind of over this side with with docks down here, and then there's going to be another massive town uh, over this side as well because we've got another massive buildable area over here, and it's all going to be very aesthetic and very beautiful and all that kind of stuff. Right, should we get building? Let's get building. Now, a couple of things to show you before we start. First of all, this right, this is a quest sign, curse. Of 
Curse of the Golden Llama. Welcome to Colonial Charter's Curse of the Golden Llama quest. This sign can be demolished, but cannot be rebuilt. Hundreds of years have gone, uh, gone by since the ancient civilization living here was wiped out by a combination of uh, old world diseases, war and famine. Greedy explorers flocking here en masse disappeared one by one into the dense woods without a trace, never to be heard from again. Those that did come back lived out their lives, very rich men indeed. Now you're here for a totally different reason, to survive. Will you succumb to the same fate as those brave, perhaps stupid, scroll down, uh, dead men and women? Or will you pay the ancient gods in blood for your wealth? Very, very cool. It's all, it's all very atmospheric. Love this. Now, you've got this um, this building over here, and it is a building. And if we go around here, not is it just a... I can't see this very well. Um, not only is it a building... Let me see if I can get a... Can I get a, 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 like a little look at this? There's a, there's a cave in here. It's Unfortunately, it's hidden by the trees, which is kind of unfortunate. We'll have to cut these trees down. Uh, I'll show you when we've, when we've cut these trees down. Um, but there's a, there's a cave in there and there's little relics and artifacts and stuff and you can assign workers to this well you can assign one worker to this and he becomes an adventurer okay so let's let's start putting in some buildings um, so food production first and you know what we're gonna go for uh, we're gonna go for our first uh, new 1.4 building now the menus the menus have all changed they've been completely um, and this is this is Kraljurg. Kraljurg was uh, made this suggestion to refine the, the menus. You'll find that you've got um, lots of two-tier menus now. So before your food production was all all in here, but now it's broken down into like you've got raw food production. So that's where your your hunting cabin and your gatherer and your apiary and stuff like that is. And then you've got um, uh, your uh, food refining. And your butchers and your crop fields and your orchards and stuff like that. So it's all it's all laid out differently. But you get used to them pretty quickly, I have to say. So you know what? We're gonna start out. We're gonna put in this, the tidal pool, which harvests oysters, mussels, crayfish, and seaweed. Now I'm assuming I don't know, but I'm assuming that this works the same as um, a, like a fishing dock in terms of having an area to work. So, like, now, like, can we, like, even squeeze one in here? Yeah, that's going to be... Oh, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. What about this way? Will it go in, like, there? It, you know what? I don't think it does, because it doesn't have a circle around it. So, in that case, how about if we put it, like, over here somewhere? Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's put... Let's put him in there. Well, in that case, we're going to put in a fisherman. Um, and here's our... That's wharf and ship. Where's fish? Here's fish. We're going to put a fishing dock over here then. Because... Uh, well, if, if I can put it the right way around and fit it in. Because we're picking up this stream as well as this. So it should have reasonable production. Um, oh, if I can get it... Maybe a bit more on the water, it would be good. You know what? What about what about on this side? What's the best we can do on this side? Not f then the answer is not fantastic. Oh, you know, I I think that's probably the best we can do. Okay, we'll put a fishing dock in there. Oh, uh, what else do we want? I'm gonna I'm gonna try and use maybe things from the colonial charter as much as possible. Let's have an apiary. We'll put an apiary in. Where are we going to put? Let's have an apiary in, kind of, in the middle of the town. That'll play for bloke from the southwest. We start producing mead. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Eh? A bit of mead. Keep everybody happy. Um, I'm going to put this. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put it on this side, just so it doesn't block the path of people wandering up and down here. Let's put it in there. I think. Right. So that's a bunch of food production. I do want to put in a forest node at some point, which will probably be over here, but I'm going to try and survive with these. A gatherer is just so like so easy because they just produce so much food. Okay, so if we're putting these in, I'm going to put houses next to these guys so that, so that people don't have to walk a long way. We're just going to use some wooden houses. So let's have a wooden house 
spin this round. Can we put a wooden house in? Now, you know what? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, am I? I, what I was thinking was to use a quayside. Um, there's a new quayside fishing thing. Where is it? Here we go. Uh, a, a quayside fishery. That needs 45 logs, 16 stone. This uh, only. Yeah, it's 15 more logs. Um, you're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna use the new stuff whenever we can. So let's get rid. Yeah, let's let's use all the new stuff. You know, if we're gonna do a quayside, then I'm afraid I'm gonna do a bit of terrain flattening to make life uh, easy. So, okay, so I ended up going a little bit mad with the uh, with the terraform, and I'll show you why I did. Because um, I had this idea. I had an idea. What I thought was, as well as putting in one of these um, quayside fisheries which uh, now like for maximum production I'd want it like right on the edge okay there because that gives me the, the most water coverage but I'm not going to go for that because this is about the aesthetics I'm going to put it one further in so that I can put a quayside going up here right so this is going to be let's see I want it there right so then I'll have a, a, a key going around the outside. But I thought, like, if I put in that in, then surely I'm going to put in a quayside house. Of course I am. Yeah, quayside house. Cool. Excellent. Now, you've also got these, um, these quayside barns, which are just super awesome as well. And I'm now thinking, well, hang on a second. Shouldn't I put in, like, a quayside barn? barn for this guy but I'm not sure that if it's you know maybe later I'll put in like a bridge across here and then maybe we'll have the, the, the barn and another house or something around here I think for now we'll just put in a regular one but it's it's it's, it's bugging look at this this is this is so cool love these now now hang on that would go there oh Oh, that's kind of got to go there, hasn't it? What do you need to build this, though? Oh, that's that's massive. We can't build one of those yet. Okay, that's it. <laughs> that's enough. Oh, I'm, I'm already planning out the future. Now, what have we put in here? We put in a tidal pool here. And again, because I want this to be all quayside, so I'm going to have to uh, play around with, with, with edging this and straightening it up and stuff. But you know what? For now, we'll just live with that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about that. But we, they do need a house, so we'll give them a house. And they're gonna have a regular house. They're just gonna have a. They're just gonna have a wooden house, nearby, because we don't. We don't want to be too fancy, because otherwise we're gonna run out of resources and stuff. So um, I'm. I'm wondering whether I have try and avoid these trees and things. But do you want your back of your house, like that, on the like looking out over the lake? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay, we'll do that then. Right, so he's got... Um, so we can have a couple of fishermen there. Uh, no, well, a couple of... Um, what are they? Dredges? I think they're dredges for the tidal pool. And then we can have a couple of fishermen over there. Right, and hopefully... That should... I mean, that should produce enough food. But are we going to leave it there? Oh, no, we're not. We're going to put in uh, an apiary as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've, already, no, I've already done the apiary, haven't I? I've I spent lo so long messing around with this that uh, I forgot what I put in. Right, so we've got the apiary. Uh, I can't even remember. No, I put it this way around, didn't I? Yeah. So we're going to want a house for these guys. So, and I'm thinking, I think we might put like both the houses in for, for these guys. No, I, no, you know what? We're just going to put, I think, one. No, I don't know. See, now I don't know. I'm confused. I've confused myself. Where, now, where do I put it? I think I'm going to put it there. I think that's going to look best. There. That'll do. That'll do pig. Um, right, so we've got um, two people living there. Two people living there. We're also going to need a woodcutter, aren't we? Yes, we are. Right, I think we should probably put maybe a stockpile in, in the centre of the village. Yeah, that would be a good idea. We're going to need some 
um, dirt roads out to these guys as well. So, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do that. Dirt roads are generally a good idea. So how about if we have a dirt road from there? Uh, am I going to run it like the whole way out? See, the thing is, I, I, I really, I want the dirt road coming from the back of here, like through, through here. How about, okay, well, let's, let's do it. Let's, let's stagger it. So we'll put that to there and then we'll bring it in a bit further to like there and then there. And then we'll bring it up to the side of the house and there and then... Is it worth putting a road up to the... Yeah, it probably is. There we go. Right, cool. Done that. Now, 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 now. Now we want to, um, to put in uh, a stockpile. Stockpile, very, very important. Where am I going to put my stockpile in and how am I going to do it? Now, we should probably put a stockpile in up here. That would make a lot of sense. And for once, I'm going to, oh, that's the road there. So, you know, let's start a stockpile. Let's have a little, let's have a little three by three stockpile there. Um, we could put, we could put another one over here for these guys. Yeah, let's have a little, little, a little, a little four by a four by two. Yeah, it's a little four by two there. We'll put another one over here by the cart probably. Uh, which side? That's the thing. Yeah, I, I might put one in. Oh, you know what we could do? We could put like a one there and one like there. Cool. Okay, so we've got stockpiles. We've got that. We need a woodcutter. Uh, so I'm, I'm thinking maybe because I, uh, I, I want to do something around this, but like I'm not like 100% sure exactly how I want to do it. I'm going to put another stockpile in there. Okay, now I'm going to take the woodcutter. Now that the woodcutter is over in this one, refined resources, and this is uh, fabrics and fibres. So that's all your tailors and stuff. And then here you've got smithing and crafting. So that's blacksmiths. And over here woodcutter, and you've got woodcutter. And you've got chopper. Now this is a little woodcutter, and it only, it only takes half the resources. So that's 24 logs, eight stone. This is 12 logs, four stone. So we'll take one of those guys, and now we've got one house there, and we've got one house there. Uh, I, you know, I should have put him closer to the house, but you know what? That'll, that, you know what? We'll put him there. Yeah, we'll put him there. Okay, that's good. Right. So um, the houses. I'm gonna. So I, no, I didn't put. I didn't put the fourth house in, did I? No, I didn't. Right, let's put the fourth house in. So the fourth house can go over here, by, by the woodcutter. So let's spin it around that way, and put it, I think there. Yeah, that's where that's going. Okay, right. Next, I want, I want the tidal pool built. Go away. Um, and I want, I think, their house built. And I want those two built. So this will put on pause. This will put on pause. This will put on pause. And to be honest, I want I want some guaranteed food production before we'd like to do any, anything else. So you know what? I'm going to... Oh, this needs glass and bricks. Ah, oh, I completely forgotten about that. But you know what? I'm going to leave it there because that's what's going to be there eventually. So in that case, for now, he's going to have a wooden house. So all that faffing around and he's going to have a wooden house anyway. So you can have a wooden house right there. That's right by the lake. Very nice. That house can go on pause for now. This house can go on pause for now. We've got the woodcutter. I also want a school pretty quickly. So now school, you go to town services and then you've got civic buildings and that's where the school is. So we'll put a schoolhouse in. 
because we hate the children. I don't like I don't like my family. I don't like the, all the grandkids. That's, oh, that's the, that's the road there. Oh, that's kind of that kind of works. Let's put the school. Let's put the school there. That's going to be on pause. That's going to be done later. The other thing we're going to need is a blacksmith. Let's get the blacksmith planned out. So smithing and blacksmith. So now where's the blacksmith going to be? I think the blacksmith should be kind of over this side. Yeah, so we'll, we'll have the blacksmith there. That's going to be on pause. Uh, what else do we need? That's, I think, pretty much it. Now we've just got to get the resources for this. So I think what we'll do, we'll start off by cutting down all of the trees around here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, that have nice views to the, to the lake and whatever. And uh, we want some stone. So we'll grab whatever stone is around. There's not a lot of stone here, though. We'll grab that stone. I think we're going to have to grab some stone from, like, over there or something. Well, let's, let's, let's grab the stone from over here. That's not too far away, is it? No, we'll grab that. And we'll want a bit of iron as well. So is there any iron over there? No, there's no iron there. Any there? Good Lord. Where's the nearest iron? <laughs> oh, is there any iron anywhere? Oh, there's some iron over there. Yeah, there's a bunch of iron over here. Let's grab that patch there. Okay, shall we um, shall we get started? Let's get started. So let's put this on. I'm going to put this on times two, just to you know. No, I'm not. I'm going to put it on times five. <laughs> let's at least get them started. I've spent a lot of time planning. We want to get um, we want to get a, a lot done before our first winter. Let's get some of our reports up while they're working. Right, so, come on, guys, move it, move it. All right. So, what are we doing? What are we getting? What are we getting done? Now, I'm going to keep an eye on this and make sure that we've got materials all the time. Right. So we're getting the logs. We're getting the stone for this. Very good. That's the wooden house. Does this, this doesn't. No, this doesn't need anything. It does need a little bit of iron, but we're getting that. Good, and they're cutting all this down and putting it on this stop pile, so they're not having to go all the way back over here. So that this is getting done relatively quickly, which is very good. Come on, guys, get it carried out. Uh, get, get it done. Get it done. I want the, I want these guys fishing as soon as possible. Uh, then we'll build their house. But I want this. Come on, guys, build it. They're splitting their time between this and this at the moment. I should probably have got this done first so we could have a couple of guys fishing. You can see how fast the food goes down. I mean, we started with 1,200 and we're already down to 1,000. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the tidal pool and put it up there. And we'll take the, the key fishery and put that up there. There's the little. No, no. Oh, where's the where's the woodcutter? Where did I put the woodcutter? Oh, there's the chopper. I don't mind him getting built. Although we've gone for a Mediterranean climate, so I'm expecting the winters are going to be very very mild. But I guess we'll see. Right, we've almost cut down it all the trees. Uh, let's um, let's get some more trees designated for cutting down. Why can't we cut those trees down? Don't know. Let's um, cut those trees down as well. And we'll cut down a few of these over here as well. How are we doing? We've got some stone. We've got plenty of iron. It's logs we need. Come on, chop, chop, guys. It's already early summer. Time flies up to that first, that first winter. And we've got a lot that we need to do. A couple of food production buildings, the woodcutter. Uh, we need some houses. We can. I'm not going to build a storage barn. We're going to live with the uh, with the wagon. Once we get uh, once we get through the first winter, and we get a blacksmith going, then we can like think about storage barns and things like that. 
but I want to get the school built as well so that we um, we have uh, high education right from the start that will help a lot oh, 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 oh. now I'm going to build this have I there we go let's allocate let's allocate three builders now hang on we've got people becoming adults Liviana has become an adult Florian has become an adult so let's let's put four builders on oh they're getting the title pool built our first 1.4 building our first golden llama building come on there we go right let's allocate let's put a couple of people in here and let's start. I want to see what the production's like and these are yeah dredges here we go dredges loving it oh this has got built as well right so um let's again let's crank that up to now how, how many people you can have oh you can have five people in there let's just have a couple of people in there i think right let's get some food being produced because food food and firewood that's the important thing right now look at look at our food going down what was that a We've used up half of our food already. Unbelievable. Right, we've got a, a, a woodcutter. Let's get him cutting some wood. Let's pause this for a second. Uh, let's get him cutting wood. What do I want built next? Well, let's build this house here and this house here. Right, go. We're late summer already. God, the time absolutely flies by. Now, do we have enough? Yeah, we've got logs. We could probably do with designating some more logs for cutting down. Where should we take them from? I think over here is going to be closest. So let's designate a few more trees for cutting down. We're okay for stone. We're okay for iron. We could probably do with a bit more stone designated, but... Um, I, I think we'd just take trees from over here. There's no point having them cut down trees here and then having to run all the way over here to cut down trees. It's That's a waste of time. But we'll take some stone and some iron, I guess. Yeah, we'll take some stone. We'll take some stone from over here. Uh, not too much. Only got... What? We've only got one labourer. Oh, yeah, because I've got four builders allocated. We'll drop that down. Okay, go on. Go on, guys. Go on. Get, get stuff built. Get stuff built. So, yeah, look at this. They're bringing in the seaweed, the crayfish, oysters. Mussels is the other one. I think there are four types that they can bring in. Go fish for some mussels as well. Right, how are these guys doing? Yeah, oh, look at this. They're bringing in the fish nicely. Right, well, we're not going to starve to death, guys. Uh, reserve of stone is low, but I designated some more stone to get picked up uh, over... Where, did, where I can't even remember where I designated it. But there is some stone somewhere. Yeah, see, we've got stone coming in. We've got logs coming in. So what do we need... Uh, that's a stockpile. Oh, we've got this house built. Who's our first person? Uh, we've got Stir and uh, Hallia and their their daughter, uh, Liviana. And those two are working as uh, fishermen. And Hallia's working as a builder. That must be that must be his craft. Right. So I'm get oh, here we go. Let's pause this for a second. We're, I'm running this very fast. It's already autumn. Uh, I think we should probably like slow this down. Oh, let's let's try that again. I think we should probably slow this down to two times now. Who have we got going in here? We've got um, Werner, or that, that's probably Werner. I'm, I'm thinking that should be Werner, and then uh, Adriana. <laughs> now there's somebody I've got a very good friend called Adriana. Oh, we're going to be following. Well, I think we're going to be following this. We've got a couple of fish fishermen, and they've got three kids. Good, good, good God. There's uh, Reynold and Florian and uh, Cianetti. Cool. Right. We're starting to learn our people. What do we want next? 
Right, we've got our chopper built. We need to. Uh, I've allocated a woodcutter, so uh, we can get his house built as well. So um, yeah, let's take that off pause. So next, now I could I could get this built, but I think we're we're probably producing enough food between these two that we should be okay for that. So what do we want? Um, well, I think we should probably get this house built then. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We could get the blacksmith going, but our, our tools will last a little bit. I think we want the four houses built. Yeah, let's do that. So, okay, here we go. And we'll keep it on, um, we'll keep it on two times for a bit because otherwise it will get out of control. Right, so... Oh, we'll, we'll be able to see inside our llama cave soon. That'll be nice. Uh, right, I, th I think I should probably designate some... Oh, hang on a sec. What are you complaining about? Uh, just saying logs is low. Right, let's designate some more trees. Let's grab those trees. Let's make sure that they've, the labourers have always got something to do. There are three labourers and the three builders will be working as labourers. So we've got, still got six labourers. We'll grab a bit more stone, I think. Oh, there's a little bit there, but let's grab a bit more there. And grab all these little pebbles and things. Then we've got a ton of iron over here, but we've all got enough iron. Iron is not our issue. And we've got our road done, which they're using, and that's saving us time, so that's good news. We could probably do with another road over here. Uh, where are we up to? We're up to autumn. But we've got houses, and they're warm. We're cutting firewood. Are you cutting firewood? I think he's gone on strike. Oh, because we've got no logs. That's why. We need to keep the logs coming in. Let's designate... Um, Oops, let's designate some some more log chopping. Keep those logs coming in so we can keep the firewood going. Um, okay, how are we doing? Two houses. How are we doing with the other two houses? We can, uh, how much food are we bringing in? These are bringing in... Because um, we've got two people working in each. This, is, this has got two done 200. Oh, we've got a pearl! Oh, I didn't even know they could find pearls. How cool is that? Uh, we've got 50, 90, so 102. This has brought in about 160. This has brought in 200, over 200. So, yeah, this is definitely better in terms of productivity. Uh, but this brings in a whole different group of um, foods. So that'll help the health. So this is probably a good combination. Oh, I'm liking this. I'm liking this so far. Now, as as long as we don't actually starve to death, which we're, we are... <laughs> we're kind of just about holding on on food. We're certainly not overloaded with food. That's for sure. Uh, this guy still doesn't have any, any logs. We've got a fuel limit. Let's uh, let's look at our limits, because I think we should probably up our limit. Well, hang on, where are the uh, where are the limits? Uh, da, da, da. Here's limits. Let's pop that down here, because you know how bad I am with limits. So we'll make logs, stone, and iron two thousand. We'll make fuel two thousand. Uh, materials we don't have to worry about. Tools we'll uh, I want tools being made. 5,000 food, we'll make that 50,000. Herbs, uh, we'll make it 1,000. Clothes, we'll make it 500. And luxuries, we'll leave at 500. Cool. So that's that done. Whew, man. It is late autumn now. We've got the third house built. Who's living there? Arson! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Arson. Do keep, oh dear, and he's got a, it's, he's got a fire going. Ah, yeah, yeah. People are always complaining about him. Yeah, they keep saying he's always asking about that guy. <laughs> you knew that was covered, right? We've got the fourth house to get built, and we need our woodcutter to actually be cutting wood. We're still chopping down logs. 
I'm going to designate a bit more forest for them to cut down. There we go. To keep the logs coming in. But uh, the thing is, we've got the three houses and they'll have gone and grabbed a hundred wood. So we just need to fuel this house over here. Uh, food is going up, guys. At least for the moment. And again, when this house gets built, they'll go and grab a bunch of food. But at that point, we should be okay. It is now early winter. If we've got two food production buildings, a woodcutter, and four houses built uh, before winter, then we're flying. Nobody should starve. Nobody should freeze to death. Although, I've got to say, I'm, I'm thinking Mediterranean climate must be very mild. Look, it's like 12 degrees, and it's early winter. Now, hang on, is this... Is this I'm pretty sure this is Celsius. So, If that's the case, this is warm. It's got to be, because <laughs> it can't be 11 degrees Fahrenheit, you bonehead. Ay, ay, ay. You know what? I'm, t I'm tempted to actually speed this up a little bit because uh, things are going... Okay, we've got our... Let's slow it down because we've got our fourth house and I want to see who's living there. So I want to know all the people. So we've got Mavery and Marl and Lutheran. Right, so we've got... Oh, Brenner was born. Is that our firstborn? In, in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's our firstborn child. Brenner was born. Well, there you go, guys. We've got four houses. We've got two food production buildings. We've got a woodcutter. And it's early winter. And we've had our first child born. I think we're going to leave it there for the first episode. I, oh, this is going to be an awesome series. Uh, do me a favour, put a like on this video and leave me a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see, uh, what you think is cool. Uh, and I've done a review of this and, and I've shown you all the buildings and stuff. So go and check out that video. I'll see you soon. Peace out. <laughs>